the rivalry between the Mets and the Yankees. Forever what I think is going to be probably one of the most interesting rivalries, especially considering that I have no part in it. Um, not really a fan of either team. Don't exactly hate either team either. I think of them both as like these just meh teams that I don't really care about that much, except for the fact that I live in their metro area. That makes me a little bit more involved with them than, say, a team like the Oakland Athletics, which I know they're doing terrible, and I'm indifferent, and if they're doing good, I would be indifferent. So, yeah. So... The Mets and Yankees rivalry is an intra-city rivalry um, for New York City baseball. And I feel like it's just one of the most interesting rivalries we see of an intra-city rivalry, especially one for New York City. LA isn't exactly like a split, and also I'm not exactly too aware of the culture. And besides them, only Chicago actually has one league in which you have two sports teams in the city. You also have the Bay Area with two MLB teams, but the, Athl- the Athletics, I think, are moving to Vegas at some point in the future. And obviously in Chicago, the city is very split between the Cubs and the White Sox. I don't like the White Sox because they are in the same city as the Cubs and they don't like each other there. But what I also feel like is true is that The Mets and Yankees rivalry is the most interesting out of the rivalries in New York City. And there's a good reason why. So what you have to understand is that in basketball and hockey, the teams are on the same conference. The New York Knicks and the Brooklyn Nets both play in the Eastern Conference. And both the Islanders and Rangers play in the Metropolitan Division. So the rivalries are... uh, are very fierce. They're very fierce. That's true. But also, they're like direct rivals of each other. Think of it the same way as the Mets are rivals with the Phillies and the Braves. Or how the Giants are rivals with the Commanders, the Eagles, the Cowboys. Think of it in that similar fashion. It's not an intercity rivalry. It's a rivalry because they're in the same division. Now, if you get an Islanders and a Rangers fan mixed up with each other, they'll be exceptionally angry. Same for Knicks and Nets. But it's just, like, not quite as bad on the grounds of that, you know. It's also, like, not the same. Giants and Jets are another interesting case. The thing with the Giants and Jets, though, is that neither team is very good. They've never met in a Super Bowl. Um, the Jets have only been in one. When they won a Super Bowl in 1969 against the Colts, who played in Baltimore back then, and who play in Indianapolis now. The Giants have actually won four Super Bowls. Two of them against the Patriots in recent memory. The Giants were actually responsible for the last world championship won by a New York City team when they won the Super Bowl in February 2012 over the New England Patriots. So, you know, the Giants and Jets rivalry is kind of pressed to the side. They just haven't made the playoffs in 12 years. There's really not the same degree of polarization as there is for the Mets-Yankees rivalry. The Mets and the Yankees actually once met in a World Series in 2000. But even before then, the two teams hated each other. Many Yankees fans were willing to root for the Red Sox in the 1986 World Series just because they did not want to see their crosstown rival, the Mets, win. The Mets won. In 1999, after the Braves beat... The Mets in a National League Championship Series, many Mets fans are willing to root for the Braves anyway because they did not want to see their crosstown rival, the New York Yankees, win. Obviously, 2000, the city was extremely divided in the 2000 World Series because you had the Mets taking on the Yankees. Um, First Subway Series since 1956 as well when it was Yankees versus Dodgers. And while the Yankees and Dodgers have met in a World Series since then, it became a cross-country rivalry. 
similar for the Yankees and the Giants. Um, not really a Subway Series anymore because they play on opposite sides of the country. Dodgers and Giants remain fierce rivals, though, with one being in L.A. and one being in San Francisco. The Mets and Yankees kind of can get a, fans can kind of get along now in the aftermath of the 9-11 attacks. That kind of reinforced the point that um, the city was united. And for the 2001 World Series, many Mets fans were willing to root for the Yankees over the Arizona Diamondbacks. Um, although, again, it was cool seeing a team win in their fourth year, which actually broke the record from the Mets for the fastest expansion team to win a World Series. Mets did it in their eighth year. Um, so, what you have to understand about um, things now is that the Mets and the Yankees, um, I don't know, this is where they can like somewhat get along. And there are people who aren't too strong fans of one team who are willing to cross, but other people are still fierce in their, in their rivalry. In general, I'll say Mets fans tend to be calmer than Yankees fans. And there's a good reason for that. Which team has been to the World Series more recently? The answer is the Mets. They made it to the 2015 World Series. Yankees haven't made it to a World Series since 2009. But in pretty much every other category, the Yankees win. The Yankees won the World Series in 2009. The last time the Mets won the World Series was in 1986. They're the only team in the NL East to have not won a World Series in the 21st century, with the Marlins winning in 2003, the Phillies winning in 2008, the Nationals winning in 2019, and the Braves winning in 2021. The, what's it called? In terms of like playoffs, they both made the 2022 playoffs. It's actually the first year since 2015 that both New York City teams were represented in the playoffs. But yet, in spite of that fact, the Yankees made it all the way to the championship series. Something the Mets haven't done since 2015 when they made it to the aforementioned World Series. As a matter of fact, the, the Mets have not made it past the wild card round since 2015. And when you look at it, the Yankees have made the playoffs every single year since 2017. 2016 was the last time the Mets made the playoffs since Hill 2022. That kind of reinforces the point that the Yankees are the better team. A team that just needs to overcome the hump in the championship series. And then I think they will win the World Series once they can overcome the hump. Um, which realistically can be done in one of two ways. The Astros' dominance ends um, and they don't make the championship series. Or the Yankees can actually take on the Astros, which I feel like is going to happen at some point. I mean, I mean the Lakers, they beat the Nuggets seven postseason series in a row. Nuggets were actually able to take down the Lakers this year in the Western Conference Finals in 2023. Uh, in route to their first ever NBA title. So, in that sense, Mets fans are generally calmer. They're also usually a little bit more jealous of Yankees fans. Um, but also, Mets fans are sometimes more willing to cross over and support the Yankees than the Yankees fans are to support the Mets. So, it's a very interesting reality. Here, though, is where the classification falls into trouble. Because as I learned the hard way, you really just can't assume someone's a Mets or Yankees fan based on how calm they are. It's true. Mets fans are usually calmer. But I know aggressive Mets fans and I know um, calm Yankees fans. And when I thought, based on a lot of evidence, they'd be rooting for one team or the other, they can get pretty mad when you mix up their teams. They really can. Because to them, it's a loss of their pride. 
People take pride in the Mets. People take pride in the Yankees. Actually, it's kind of hard to take pride in the Mets because they suck. But when you mix up their teams, when you, when, when, when you, a Yankees fan is thought of to be a Mets fan, yeah, that doesn't exactly go over very well because the Yankees are just better. And when you think that a Mets fan is a Yankees fan, again... Even that can be offensive, though it's usually less offensive because, again, harder to say pride in the Mets than it is in the Yankees. So, yeah, that's just kind of how I think that um, that's one of the most interesting rivalries ever. And, you know... Just an interesting video that I wanted to make. And yes, this video was actually inspired off of me, uh, off of someone getting, being, well, I don't know if they were actually mad at me, but yeah, I confused the Mets fan with the Yankees fan and it didn't go over well. Well, I, I, I said someone was a Mets fan and then they were actually a Yankees fan, which is usually the worst case scenario then assuming someone's a Yankees fan and they, and they actually are a Mets fan. Just because, you know, the Mets are the inferior team. Hmm. All right.